Hi everyone, Jennifer here with a short eye makeup tutorial for you. Today I am going to do a slightly darker, more dramatic eye that could probably be used um, more for evening. Um, I, today I am going to use a Wet n Wild palette called I'm Getting Sunburned. This is number 334. Sheer Cover Duo Concealer. Elf Studio Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. Q-tips. And Claudia Stevens Facial Prep Foundation Base. Okay, I'm going to begin by applying some of the primer, the Claudia Stevens Facial Prep Foundation Base, in a very small amount to my Island about well, the size of a half. If you were to cut a half a grain of rice in half, or a grain of rice in half, this is about what you would get. I'm going to use face primer simply because I sometimes feel that in the uh, product of primers, particularly a lot of the I ones, and you know, there are all sorts of different primers. Sometimes I just think that the majority of them are sold to get us to buy more product, and you don't really need to use um, eye primer, but if you feel more comfortable using primer specifically made for the eye. Go right ahead. Um, I'm going to take this tiny amount now and cover it all over my eyelid. It's just clear. Okay. There we are. I'll give that a minute to set. You're more than welcome to do this tutorial um, or this look in any way that you like. Um, I just happened to be exploring the idea of an evening, an evening eye makeup uh, for you all, and I tried a number of com color combinations over several weeks. And this particular one was my favorite, and it is the one I am wearing in my Sinful Colors nail polish review video. Or at least as close as I can get to it. In my case, I can't quite duplicate it exactly because I can't... Um, I wasn't able to measure the amount of shadow and things like that used, so this is as close to it as I've been able to get. And I actually kind of think this is a little better. Okay, and I'm going to begin with this color, this gold color here on the bottom. And instead of um, a brush or anything like that to blend today, I'm going to use Q-tips. Yes, you can use Q-tips for your eye makeup. There's nothing wrong with doing so. I'm just going to roll around the Q-tip in shadow a few times. Tap off any excess. I'm sorry everybody, I can't get the camera 
any closer than it is at the moment because I only have a peephole camera inside of a laptop it doesn't zoom in or out I'm just going to apply as you would with almost any other brush onto my lid and a little bit higher, Maybe a bit more, it took off too much excess. And you'll notice I haven't done the rest of my face yet. The rest of my face has absolutely no makeup on it. When I remember to, because when I remember to, I always try to do my eyes first, simply because it does prevent fallout of your eyeshadow from affecting the rest of your makeup. Uh, that's sort of a new technique for me. I usually, or at least I was taught, to do your face first, and then your eyes, and then your cheeks, and then your lips. And that's just been habit for about close to 20 years. So sometimes I forget and do it the way I used to, but when I remember, I like to do my eyes first. Okay? And I'm just gonna dab on a little more of that gold. And there you go, there's the gold on the eyelid. Now I'm going to do something a little unusual. I'm going to do my eyeliner next. Because I've noticed with looks with a lot of shadow, for me anyway, um, I have difficulty uh, maneuvering brushes and things of that nature sometimes. And if I'm using eyeliner, this is the Ico London Skinny, Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in black. If I'm using eyeliner and I put the eyeliner on after my first shadow color. It sort of gives me a little guideline as well as being a shadow and the tiny, teeny amount of shadow that falls onto the eyeliner line helps set the helps to set the eyeliner a little bit. That way I don't have shadow all the way up to here and you know. My eyeliner stays in place all day long. So just get this as close. Actually, you can do whichever direction you want. For this eye, today at least, I went from the outside in. I'm going to try to do that for you today. It all depends on whether my muscles cooperate. You can lean the pen against your body, against, or you can put it elbow onto a chair armrest or a table or whatever you have available if you need it. I think it'll be better to get this thing this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. So work from the inside out. Oh maybe the outside in let's see. Yep, the outside in. Looks better.
Don't worry about it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And just kind of connect with lines as much any lines, any little miniature lines that you do as much as possible. I sort of went from the outside in and then decided to pick up and attach the rest of the line and go all the way in. as far in as you can I should do there we go they're not exactly the same and they're not perfect um, by no means do I ever claim to be perfect and or at least not <laughs> in terms of what we, most people think of as perfect I think uh, we're all made the way we're supposed to be that's just my personal opinion you're more than welcome to disagree with me if you like. Um, anyway, on to the next color. And the next color is going to be this very pretty, it looks like it's black, but it isn't. It's actually a very dark brown with some little gold flecks of glitter in there. I'm just going to use that as sort of a contour for my eye. And just roll this around, get the tiniest bit because these shadows are very pigmented. If you would like a review of them, just let me know in the comments below and I will do one for you as soon as I can. And instead of doing the normal contouring that most people do, to go right into the eye socket, I go up a little bit, closer to the brow, and I'm sort of just a tiny bit between that socket area and the brow bone. I'm going to take this. And I'm going, this is a mirror that I'm holding. And I'm going to get right in that second area, like this. And go outward and then back in again. And I know, I know, it looks terrifying, it looks scary. I look like I've got a black eye, and just flip your Q-tip or your sponge applicator around or grab another brush. Blend it out as much as you can. Take your time. There isn't any big rush, or you could practice this if you want to, if you know. On the evening, you're going to wear this, or the day you're going to wear this, but you're not going to have much time. Practice it so that you can um, do it. Yeah, put it all up in a shorter amount of time. And just blend it. And then once it gets toward the last line, kind of roll. roll. Up the Q tips. It's going to be down, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. There we are. I'm going to get another Q-tip now. 
and I'm going to do the highlighting. I'm going to use the pink color up at the top. Pink. It has a little bit of silver in it. Silverish glitter. Okay. Okay. About that much. And I'm going to go through this in the same pattern I did before. Just to lighten up this dark brown a little bit. Move it all the way. There we go. Tiny bit more. Go down to your liner liner area. And just place that there. And then flip your Q tip around. And blend it. Pardon me. Blend it a little bit more. Boy, these eyeshadows are dusty and a little bit messy, but they have wonderful pigment to them. There you go. There's the other eye. Or at least almost all of the other eye. Now I'm going to take. Another key tip. Surprise, surprise. I just wasn't really able to clean my brushes last time as I planned for this. So I'm using Q tips instead. I'm going to take more of that pink, but this time I'm going to dip. The Q tip straight down into the shadow. Tap off any extra. I really don't want a ton extra for what I'm about to do. And place the pink again on the corner, on the inner corner of your eye, and then take it underneath your eye a little bit, and go around there, just to give a little bit of highlight to make your eyes look well, it's big and wide despite all this dark color. <laughs> there you go. I'm done with the shadow. And the liner. We're basically done with the eye with the exception of concealer and mascara. And I'm going to use the Sheer Cover Duo Concealer to conceal under my eye a little bit. Um, I did use it over here, but it may not be showing in this particular light quite as well as it shows up in person. <laughs> I'm going to use the lighter color, just to some. Take some onto my finger. I'm 
you go in the green part corner at least as much as you can without actually going up near the tear duct. Yeah. Give it a minute to set. All right. And now I'm going to do my eyelashes with the Elf Studio Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara, the one I reviewed the other day. One in the black tube. Top lashes first. Put a coat the top of the top lashes, and then move on to the bottom of them. Notice I got in the mirror so you guys can see better what I was doing. I took this out. I just wish I had a zoom in camera, but I don't. Very sorry for that. Hopefully, someday in the future, I'll get one. Um, I'll be able to zoom right into my eyeball. But until then, this is what I have to do. Just if you're about three coats, I would say. You might get some clumping if you do. Uh, feel free to, of course, comb them out. There we go. Now I'll get the bottom ones. And that's all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this look, and I hope you um, enjoy whatever you're going to do, uh, either for your eye look or for the evening in which you in which you would wear this. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you very very soon. Have a nice day.